Hello and welcome all. In this vlog, I'll explain you about triangles. So without wasting the time, let's start. And before that, I'll explain you what is a difference between collinear and non-collinear points. So all those points that lie on the same straight line is called the collinear points. Okay. As we can see in this figure, one line is drawn and point A, B, C and D, they are lying on the same line. Okay. So this is what is the, these all four points are called collinear points. Whereas non-collinear points is just the opposite of collinear points now you can see on the figure point E and G are coming on the same straight line whereas F and H are not on that line okay so this is the difference between collinear and non-collinear points after that come triangle now what is a triangle a close figure bounded by three line segments and uh, I have explained earlier in my vlog about line segment for example uh, there is a line AB whose measurement is 3 cm okay so uh, line segments we can easily measure this is the uh, main difference between line segment and line uh, we can't measure the line but we can measure the line segment so a closed figure that is bounded or that is made up of three line segment is called the triangle and we denote triangle by the symbol triangle and figure is drawn on the right hand side triangle a b c now what is there in this triangle three vertices or three points like a b and c so a b and c are what they are the vertices of this triangle a b and c okay then three sides a triangle has three sides a b b c and c a and it also has three angles and like angle a angle b and angle c okay now classification of triangles according to the sides so according to the sides of the triangle triangles are classified into three types according to the sides okay so first is isosceles triangle so if only two sides of a triangle are equal that is called isosceles triangle and one figure is drawn triangle a b and c and in this triangle a b is equal to a c whose measurement is 3 centimeter whereas b c is of different length that is uh, its measurement is 3.5 centimeter so if only two sides of a triangle are equal that is called isosceles triangle okay and the angles opposite to that equal sides of an isosceles triangle are always equal for example if angle b is 50 degree then angle c will also be of 50 degree okay then second category is of equilateral triangle and it is very clear from the name itself if all the three sides of a triangle are equal that that is called equilateral triangle like in triangle def d is equal to ef is equal to fd means uh, their measurement is four centimeter each okay and all the angles are equal each measuring 60 degree because the sum of a triangle is 180 degree okay so in equilateral triangle all the three angles are equal and last type is scalene triangle so all the three sides are of different length that is called scalene triangle and in triangle p q r r their measurement is different like pq is not equal to qr is not equal to rp and their measurement is 3 cm 4 cm and 5 cm and uh, all the three angles are also different in scalene triangle in isosceles triangle two angles are equal in equilateral triangle all the three angles are equal each measuring 60 degree whereas in scalene triangle all the three angles are of different measurement okay so this is the main difference between isosceles equilateral and scalene triangle so this is the end of my vlog hope you like it and if so then please do like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching